Five Unusual People in the World, Part Sixty Nine. Hello, everyone. I'm Keisha, and have a great day. Life is never fair. There are people who were born abnormal, in which some are shunned and rejected by people around due to a certain disease. Let's find out about those strange people in this video. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Celeste Van Vienen. Celeste Van Vienen, born in 1992, lives in Jonten in the Dutch province of Flevoland. She has to lie in bed 22 hours a day because if she moves wrongly, she will die immediately. I know you cannot believe this is real, but let's find out why. Celeste Van Vienen has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a connective tissue disorder. In which the body's collagen is of poor quality. This causes ligaments, tendons, and other supporting tissues in the body to malfunction. As a result, many functions have stopped working, such as breathing rate, heart rate, and blood pressure. She often loses consciousness and has seizures. The connective tissue between Celeste's skull and cervical vertebrae is so weak that it could dislocate if moving rigorously. She has to stay in bed for 22 hours a day to avoid putting pressure on her spine, which she says can cause unbearable pain. If this pain is not prevented quickly, Celeste could become completely paralyzed or even die. Despite all her difficulties, Celeste tries to stay positive. Doctors have attached more unstable vertebrae to the skull to prevent further damage to the brainstem. The surgery has helped her reduce the danger and pain. Number four, Megan Weldon. Megan Weldon was born in 2001 in Deerfield, Massachusetts, USA. Since the age of two, she hasn't grown and her weight has stagnated, leaving her stuck in the form of a child. She has also lost so much hair that she looks like she has no hair at all. She was diagnosed with pocheria at the age of two, one of the rarest diseases in the world. Pocheria is a genetic disorder that causes premature aging, leading to death, which has been identified in only 169 children and youngsters alive today worldwide. Although researchers estimate that 400 people have this disease, most children with pocheria. Die from hardening of the arteries, a common killer of the elderly, with an average age of just 14. As a child, Wardrin was often hospitalized for several days for medical tests. Despite suffering from this terrible disease, she always stays positive. She ran on her high school athletics team and learned to play the cello after mastering the violin. She is always ready for quite many new challenges. She is taking an experimental drug for pocheria that works to prolong the life of people with the disease. Megan shared that after taking the drug, her condition has markedly changed. The test showed that her hardening of the arteries slowed down. She can carry her own backpack to travel to Europe. We all want to have a beautiful face to attract the eyes of those around, but a strange disease can destroy that dream. Number three, Amar Samad. Amar Samad, born in 1999, comes from a poor village in Simdega district, Charkhan, west of Kolkata, India. A large tumor weighing up to 10 pounds appears on the face. It covers the entire left half of his face, disfiguring his face. Amar Samad could not see, eat, or breathe normally. Doctors at the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences in Kochi said the tumor was caused by genetic defect called hyperparathyroidism jaw syndrome. This condition is reported to cause only small tumors on the jaw, and in Mars' case, is the largest ever reported maxillary tumor of its kind. It first grew in the upper jaw. Then quickly grew into an extraneous body weighing 10 pounds and reaching 7.9 inches in diameter. 
He was rarely allowed out of his house by his family because of the football-sized tumor on his face. Not only facing ridicule from people around, Amer also experienced physical pain. He had trouble swallowing and speaking. His father died of malaria. His mother then abandoned him and his two younger brothers with his uncle. He couldn't make money because of his tumor. Because of this difficulty, he could get free surgery. Doctors removed the external deformity in a 14-hour free surgery. He looks a lot better now and can return to his normal life. A teenager in India has broken her bones more than 1,000 times due to a rare condition that makes her bones so weak that the slightest action can cause a fracture. Number 2. Sable Praveen Sable Praveen, born in 1999 from Balgapur, Bihar, northern India. This little girl is very poor, having broken 90% of the bones on her body. She was also unable to eat, walk, sit, or sleep on her own. All of the above tasks require the help of her parents. She needs care 24 hours a day. Sable was diagnosed with the strange condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, which is an inherited bone disorder characterized by fractured bones. It is also known as brittle bone disease. The literal meaning of the term means imperfectly made bones from birth. The person born with this disorder will be affected throughout their life. Sable was born normal, but when she was 20 days old, doctors noticed changes in her body. She was given plenty of calcium, as well as other medicines, but her problems only increased over time. Her body parts shrink, her height doesn't increase, and she has constant aches and pains all over her body. This condition is sometimes caused when a couple are close relatives. This is very common in India. Sable parents are first cousins, their fathers or brothers. Sable admits that she hates having to rely on her mother. She always wants to be free like other girls of her age or like her older sisters. And for her, her body was like a prison. People with horns are a matter of controversies. Up to now, there have been many such people in the world. Number 1. Yang Ruifang Huang Yufan, born in 1927, is now living in Guiyang District, Xiangrao City, Jiangsu Province, Eastern China. He attracts the curiosity of everyone in the village because he has a string horn on his head that is more than 3 inches long. It will still continue to grow like a goat horn, so the whole village calls him the Goat Man. This horn is not a birth defect, but since 2009, he began to feel a tumor growing on his head and it was getting bigger. The abnormal lump then grew into a long horn. He went to the doctor and was told by doctors that they could not determine the cause and complications that the horn could cause. The horn did not cause pain, but made Mr. Hong feel uncomfortable. He had to sleep on one side, wearing a hat when going out, but when it was too long, the hat couldn't hide it anymore. He also had to file it regularly to limit its length. The science calls this skin horn. It is made up of keratin, the protein that makes up the top layer of skin, and is similar to nails. Huang tried to shorten it, but it continues to grow. According to his doctors, it would grow back if they removed it. I think we all get lucky all the time, in one way or another way, with our bodies being normal. Please respect your body. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any unusual body part, don't be self-conscious about it. You are unique, outstanding. Wonderful and special.